Evelina, or The History of a Young Lady's Entrance into the World, is about, well, a young lady called Evelina and her entrance into the world, which doesn't mean uh, to say we're going to be discussing Evelina's mother going into labour. By the time we meet Evelina, uh, she's already 17 years old and she's described as pretty and modest, but basically she's a country bumpkin. She's clueless and inexperienced and she will have to navigate her way through sophisticated London society uh, through her many mistakes, eventually acquiring and increasing her confidence in becoming an accomplished and respectable young woman. The plot would make Julian Fellows proud. In fact, I'm not quite sure why he hasn't adapted it for uh, ITV yet. Um, I have a personal interest in Fanny Burney, the author of Evelina, of course, because for over 10 years I, li I worked in, um, on the site where her Fanny's uh, family home was, near the pleasure gardens and all the theatres that Evelina uh, goes to and tells us all about in the book. It is a sparkling and often merciless comedy man of manners, and I do like a satire. In recounting her many faux pas in polite society, Evelina highlights the ridiculous snobbery and stupidity of many, especially men, who are deemed respectable uh, because aristocratic or rich or both. Um, and it shows us just how image conscious and silly society is. Uh, most men are fops and dandies, except for the one she's in love with, who, however, is called Orville. So how can you take him seriously? Um, for instance, she refuses to dance with horrible Mr. Lovell just because she doesn't like him. And I know that's a little bit tame and that's not what happens when you go dancing at the Ministry of Sound, but it's not, it wasn't acceptable in those days to just dance with whoever you liked. Um, um, but um, in fact, um, Evelina has takes a, a bit of revenge on Mr. Lovell by having a monkey bite him later on, so well done, Evelina. Then there's the uh, retired captain, uh, Mir Van, who's really eccentric and crazy, uh, but also coarse and malicious and has this loathing of everything French. Now, I can completely understand that because I used to live in Paris, lived there for many years, and uh, therefore I totally relate to Captain Mir Van. But, but in, in any case, he's always playing pranks with, um, especially uh, towards silly Madame Duval, uh, just because she's French. Well, she's not even French, she pretends to be, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, and in fact, I wanted to do the whole review in a silly French accent just to spite him, but uh, my voice is excruciating enough, so I don't think I need to add to that. And any, in any case, Fanny Bernie later on married a Frenchman and became Madame d'Arblay, so I think that's enough. There's the Branton girls and their idiot twit of a brother whose crass behaviour often gets Evelina into trouble and they kind of um, go from one floor to another in the house. They go up and down as if it was an actual outing so it's perfect for lockdown. Bernie wrote many things above all besides Evelina of course. Wrote, she wrote this amazingly detailed and wonderful diaries who really depict Regency uh, society in England and most interesting to me is that years after she wrote Evelina she developed breast cancer she had to have her breast removed and she writes about this in detail sparing nothing which I think is really interesting even to this day it's not a common thing to do. She had uh, surgery with that anesthetic just a little bit of wine cordial anyway i just love the fact that she op opens talks about it and, and shares it with her uh, readers she recovered i'm happy to say and went on to live a long life in fact she outlived on her family if i could have dinner with her i would ask her lots of things about regent england of course what was it like to be at the battle of waterloo what was it like to be chased around queue by mad king george and was dr johnson really never tired of london but the, the first thing obviously i would ask is what the hell was in that wine cordial and can you get over the counter 